great company here, posted on the Twitter, uh, the rest of the social media, as I'm sure. It's nice to see real people. <laughs> I've just been asked to say a few words about Shibley's new book, Living Better with Dementia, which I've been also been honoured to write a forward for. It's an amazing follow-up from his first book, Living Well with Dementia, which I'm sure you all agree was an excellent book. If you haven't read it, please go out and read it. And yet, I personally don't agree, always agree with the, with the, with the um, statement living well with dementia. It's quite a high standard to be achieved sometimes. We can all live with dementia, but living well is quite a high standard to achieve. And people can feel, um, they can feel that it isn't achievable, they can feel like it's a failure. And this is a conversation that we and Shirley had, it's quite long and hard, and which led into almost the name in his second book, Living Better with Dementia which I think is a much more achievable standard for everybody to achieve. A relative or someone might think that someone isn't trying hard enough when they don't move well. We're all allowed to have a bad day or bad days. We're all allowed to have rubbish days. I've always wondered how long to live well with a severe illness of any description. And this book promotes this. It shows you how we can live better with dementia. And it also shows you where you can get this help from. It's an excellent little book. It's, it's a very difficult process that should be managed to put down on paper in a very concise way. This book truly is a guide to living better. And I say all the time that we don't need dementia awareness. Everyone is already aware of the word dementia. It's education we need, with a little bit of risk thrown in for good measure. There's also a lot of information out there which one has to really hunt for. This book goes a long way to provide you with that information. One has to collect, collate, and make sense of what's relevant. And also more important is to relate to what's factual out there, which is all for me to be very hard to achieve as well. He's included some of the up-to-date information on organisations which might be of help to us as well. Not just to people with dementia, but also to carers and professionals. Organisations such as TIDE, which should be mentioned before, together in Dementia Everywhere, which has gone on, to, which has gone on from the Carers Call to Action. It's a new organisation, and I hope we'll hear a little bit more about that as months go on. And also about Dementia Alliance International. Dementia Alliance International compared, or comprised of people, just people with dementia, who speak for, advocate, and promote the whole site ourselves. They are a voice and advocate for people with dementia. We now produce many services such as virtual dementia chats, using a conference software called Zoom. We produce webinars, meeting of the minds, which is, which is exclusive for everyone that has an interest in dementia, not just people with dementia. We do master classes and we help promote these to people all over the world using YouTube and social media. The DAI are now building relationships and partnerships with groups such as Alzheimer's Disease International. I'm very privileged to be serving an active board member with such. Another initiative he mentioned, which is one of my favourites, to mention friends, this is where volunteers are trained to go out and give a 45 minute session, especially aimed at the Joe public, which has no, no meaning to them. They don't understand the word at all. It's just a great 45 minute information session. I went along to my first one thinking I'm going to, I'm going to have a go with this and see what it's about. Because I'm an expert in dementia, but I'm only an expert in my dementia. I found it a great little session. I actually enjoyed it. It's about putting together five points of breaking myths down which we don't really relate to dementia. And it's these that we put together which, we, which will give people support to people. It'll help to people with dementia take an active role in life. Shibley's book is a very precious resource for professionals, caregivers, and people that are trying to live better with dementia and trying to understand dementia. I'm going to finish off by reading my own forward, my book, from Shibley's new book, Living Better with Dementia. There are lots of books out there on dementia, but none as informative and varied as this one. It is an excellent follow on from Dr. Raman's first book, Living Well with Dementia. I read his first, which we have found a considerable help especially as I, myself, have mixed dementia. After reading it, I have thirst for more knowledge about the dementias and how we can live better. His next book does just that. It goes on to great detail using his academic knowledge and using the experiences 
of others, including caregivers, and more importantly, the experience of people who are living with dementia, six of people in here today. To explore the different therapies and seek help to achieve this. It explores dementia disability rights, dementia friendly communities, and even advocacy. It talks about some subjects which hardly ever been touched before in some books. It's a great guide for anyone exploring dementia for whatever reason, bringing together about discussions as well as factual information. It is possible to live better with dementia, using this book as a reference to answer questions as to what is to come and how you can be involved in your own destiny. I highly recommend this book as a great starting point on your journey with diagnosis, or however you might be linked on this journey. And it's aimed at those with dementia, caregivers, professionals, families and care homes. It reminds us that there is a beginning and middle before the end stages, one people don't always realise. And using every resource to hand, that once you have this book and explore therapies out there, you can live well and better with dementia. I'd like to thank Shipley for bringing about such a useful book and has been a very good friend to my wife and I. I'd like to thank all of you to listen to me. Thank you.